What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and I'm going to bring to you this week uh, this week's predictions video for our game against Maryland um, so I just wanted to get into that and get started uh, can't believe it's already week 6 but there it is, it is week 6 and I um, wanted to give you my thoughts and feelings about this game it's going to be coming up in a couple of days uh, and give my prediction of what I think is going to happen in this game. So, first off, it's going to be a home game for us, so that's a positive. Um, you know, typically for us, the home games have been a lot nicer and a lot better as far as both. Uh, you know, our performance and just our confidence and our starts to football games. Um, you know, even in the games that we did sort of, sort of start off sluggish, we were at least not giving up, you know, uh, 10 to 17, 10, you know, points or whatever the case may be uh, before we, you know, got things going, especially on the defensive end. So... It's going to be a little bit different game. Uh, with us being at home, we're going to come out with a little bit more energy, especially since everyone's been talking about how flat and poor we came out versus Northwestern. So this is not going to be an easy game, I don't think. Um, you would think it would be, but I don't think so. Maryland is 3-1. Uh, they beat Texas you know, in the first game of the season. So, uh, these are this is not a team that we should be taking lightly. This is not going to be an easy game at all. Um, in fact, about Maryland's only loss, surprisingly, was against Temple. I don't know how that ha happened, but other than that, they've been te they've been beating teams very easily. Um, so, this is going to be. Pretty much, a, it's going to be a dogfight. I think. Um, I I think that we're much more talented than them. I know that they've been playing inspired football, especially rallying around the fact that you know playing for their teammate that died before the season started. So. And they, they you know, I think that they're going to be playing a little bit harder, seeing not harder, but they're going to be playing really hard based on the fact that. They still have an issue with the, the head coach being on leave. I'm not sure if the, how that's going to work itself out. But I see this being a game where Michigan maybe wins by a touchdown and a half or you know, maybe so like something like 27-17 or it could be like 31-17, something along those lines. But it's not going to be one of those 55 to 2, I mean 55 to 0, or 55 to 7 games. I don't think it's going to be that. But um, Maryland's going to come out to play. Uh, the only difference is that we're, like I said, we're at home. So it might score a little bit more than the, the 27. Like I said, it might be like 31 or 34 points because we are at home. But, um, a couple of things I want to see and hope to see from the game. Um, first, the continuing and the improvement of the offensive line. Um, you know, they've been kind of hit or miss, but overall I'd say that they're not really giving up the sacks like they used to. Uh, Shea Harrison is not, for the most part, is not running around like his life depends on it. So there's been times where he's had a decent pocket, time for him to step up in the pocket. There's times where he's just been back there and been able to really survey the field. So I think continuing this this whole line with the offensive line play, getting better is going to be the key. Um, another thing is going to be make sure to see if we get the pass game going. I think the running game is pretty much been set but I'm, I'm interested to see how we do with the passing game if we get that going because for a lot of these games 
Um, we're getting under 200 passing yards. It's just been really the defense and the running game that's really kept us afloat. So interesting to see if we air it out a little bit more and get that going. Um, let's see how that goes. I'm also interested to see um, just overall for the team whether or not we have more discipline. You know, we've been getting hit and ding with a whole lot of penalties. And um, some may be necessary, like, if, for example, if you get beat off of the line or whatever the case may be, and you're, you're playing one-on-one, and if you don't grab the guy, he's going to uh, have a touchdown or a huge play. To me, it makes sense to, you know, grab the guy and live to fight another day. I understand all that. But overall, not only is it on offense, but it's also the defense fan too. We're getting, you know, sloppy plays. Um, I'm interested to see if we can cut down the the, the penalties, definitely. And um, also what I'm interested to see is... Um, how we do on the defense end as far as converting or uh, getting off the field as far as third down third downs go. I mean, I don't have the statistic in front of me here, but I just feel as though um, we're not getting off the field like we used to, like over the uh, previous few years on Don Brown. I feel as though that teams are getting and extending drives a lot more on us this year. Um, some of us dealing with these third down penalties that like pass interference or holding penalties but just overall we're not getting out the field like we used to so I'm interested to see if we can start getting that under control whether it's cutting down on the penalties or cutting down on like we get seem to get beat a lot on slant plays so Getting, cutting down on that, getting that out the way, and just working hard to get off the field as soon as possible. Um, I mean, other than that, I don't see anything that's glaringly sticking out for special teams. Will Hart's been amazing this year, probably the difference maker as far as field position and just helping us win games. Um, place kicking has been, for the most part, pretty good, except for a couple of missed uh, extra points. So those are the keys to the game. I think, like I said, I feel as though we're going to win and make our team 5-1. We just have to wait and see how this thing all pans out and works out for itself. Anyways, that's, for, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, definitely feel free to leave a like on the video. Uh, leave me a comment section in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the game, whether or not you think we're going to win what things you see that we need to improve upon, what things we're doing well, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you like my content and you want to see more of it, definitely hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, um, and let's try to grow this com uh, community as much as possible. Anyways, thank you for watching the video, and go blue.